God, did we even read the first terminal? <laughs> so much. Hack personal logs. Missing my man. Missing my man. I miss Max so much, my poor sweet chicken pee. Chick pee. Sometimes dream of him screaming in pain again. I wake up in tears in my eyes. We've always been together, so it feels wrong to be thousands of miles away from each other now, but we're keeping in contact. He's told me he found a place and has been having a good time furnishing it for us. Every month I send him a bit of money, but he's been good with his own resources, so he's fine. I wish he could come back. I've welcomed his replacement, Vincent, and we all had to go through the grilling process. I'm posing for the new group fit picture. <laughs> Sign the new agreement papers and contracts and all the fun things. I wonder why they couldn't just paint him into the picture at least. But leave it to the central to make life harder for us than it has to be. I've requested some pamphlets and papers with leadership advice, which I guess is probably shameful, but there it is. Um, I don't complain about the payment I'm getting, but I can't understand why they choose me as the new station leader after, you know, the other guy exploded. I mean, Judas has been here for way longer and Scobie has been much has much more experience leading teams nobody has tried to fight the power off my hands so I'm not afraid of a revolt but it's really tiresome to keep track of everything blah 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 busy days of leadership uh, I should write more things here uh, I've been terribly busy be trying to fill my paper quota while trying to reduce quality content and keeping in touch with Max to check how his back is doing I've also been meeting with the other station leaders at Central twice a month and have been leaving Scobie in charge, fortunately, there have been no medical emergencies short of the usual cut with the extremely sharp cos cosmic knife, but I've made sure everybody knows where the eight strips are. One silly thing Central can try and implement is a rule to have us non-native English speakers write down a journal ent entry in our own language once a week. Okay, why would they even want that? What purpose would that serve? I don't think I'm going to bother until it becomes mandatory. I told the others this morning nobody seems to be interested anyway. The terrible burden of leadership is still weighing me down. But I feel like I'm getting better at it. Nobody's trying to be snarky or mean and hit me in the face. So I do my share of the chores like cooking a clean greenhouse. Folks seem to appreciate that. And on a lighter note, I have received several requests to commission some beer today. Not for drinking, but for experiments. Jimothy mentioned last night how he'd heard once that you can make crystals out of beer for jewelry and such. Judas said it was impossible. We spent the rest of our dinner discussion discussing how it could be done. Perhaps I'll ask around and see if we could get just one bottle. Doubt they'd give us any more than that. Oh my golly goodness. Alright, I'm gonna read. Uh, oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna read these after the fact. And I'll try to do a quick summary. Which one did we just do? Whatever, new friends. I think we did turn for the better, turn for the better. What the hell? It ends here. Yep. These are all the ones between them. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna read these. I'll be back. Alright, so I read most of them except for uh, the last two or three because there's information that's vital. Um, I just wanted to point this one out. Um, he sees, uh, this is about Jimothy. He sees more. He sees me as more than just the boss. Apparently my name is too difficult. <laughs> I found that funny. Okay, turn for the better. Look at me. Uh, I'm not a very delayed entry. It's been almost a month now, but at least I have something fun to share. Dan's birthday party last night was a blast. So I heard I couldn't participate because I got a fever, so I spent the day in bed. Jimothy left me some cake in the fridge that I haven't eaten. Oh, I ate it. Speaking of Jimothy, oh wait. Oh, what have I done? We were sitting together in the garage a couple of weeks ago, listening to the radio, chatting about something or other. Nothing out of the usual. He sat next to me. He held my hand, and before I knew it, we were kissing our faces. I tried to stop him, but my hands were out of control, touching his wiener, touching his wiener, and touching his wiener. Next I knew, we were laying together naked on top of this sweet sleeping bag. I left right away, but he followed me. He told me that he needed me, that we understood each other, that it was meant to be. Then we made love again in my office, and since then, we've been together at least once a day, sometimes even more. I think the others know, but nobody's said anything. Even though Lisa seems to be avoiding me lately, I know I should feel terrible for Max back on, but can't. Jimothy is so much more suitable for me. He's serious, strong, and smart. And he's dead, too. He doesn't chat, and whatever it is he has to say, you can rest assured it is worth listening to. And besides, it's not like Max is going to kick down the door and catch us in a flagrant delicto. Flagrante delicto? I don't speak Spanish. I feel happier than I've been in years. I'm not going to let that go just because someone may get their precious feelings hurt. Max needs to grow up and behave like an adult instead of following me around like a lost little puppy. He doesn't know shit about the world. It gets tiresome, you know? He's just so unaware of what he's going, of what's going on, of what I need. Always so happy-go-lucky. Boo-boo-doo. I'm good going to rock it. God, it makes me want to smack him in the face. What the hell? 
There's something terribly wrong happening. Hadley, Hadley is dead. <laughs> Hadley, Hadley. Uh, I have no idea what the hell's going on. He woke up with a bad stomach ache, so I brought him here for a checkup before the breakfast. Then suddenly he started coughing and vomiting blood before I could even do anything. He fainted and never came around. We had to put him in sealed metal container for the time being. I don't know where he got the strength to say a few words because we're all in complete shock, and I can't even remember what I actually said. And the symptoms, sharp abdominal pains, massive drop in core temp, cyanosis, hemopotipupus, and heptopopambus syncope. Sort of match Algeria, Algeria, but but none of us has been handling sh silver dust. Could it be related to radiation? I haven't even managed to notify Central Comedy Central yet. It's been so sudden that I don't know what to do. I swear to God, if there are aliens in this, I'm gonna shit my pants. It ends here. Everybody's gone, except for me and Vince. Judas was the last to go. I tried to take care of the others. They got sick one at a time, bled, fainted, and never came to. But now I know what happened. Judas told me, and I confirmed it after I extracted a blood sample from her. Haley and Danica to compare. Oh, is it the thing? Maybe it's the thing. Oh, Judas, she was on the floor. Oh, J oh, Judith. She was on the floor of the hallway and couldn't move, so I brought her a blanket and some paint clothes. But she refused them, then she told me she'd been on, been on a relationship with Vincent. Not that it would be any of my business, and that he had plans she didn't know about. She said Vincent told her he poisoned the cake right before he disappeared this morning, and the tests I ran on my leftover slice indeed show alarming levels of hydrogen peroxide and D acid. Haley's blood has almost four times as much D as the others, probably because he ate more. Poor fellow. Oh. Judith said she was sorry, but I told her it wasn't her fault. How could she have known? However, before she died, she cried. I can see the heartbreak in her eyes as she slipped away into sweet, sweet death. That bastard Vincent has been eluding me since then. Insane, considering how small the place is, but what it is... When it is just two people, anyway, I definitely will find him. I managed to force an emergency lockdown. You usually need to notify Comedy Central first, and their response is usually to send Gilbert Gottfried. But our connection seems to have been severed, so I haven't received a response. I sent out an emergency broadcast now to everyone, and everyone's like, what? Hopefully the priority level will be high enough to make it through. I'll send a condensed version to Max back on Earth. Perhaps he'll be able to help somehow. Although I doubt it. What could a crippled man living in some rundown desert shack do to help an elite group of scientists on the moon? Mm, 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 mm. Alright. Yes, I did just hum. Let's get physical. Almost complete crew. Everyone died. Kalishnikov. Um, I have been trying to catch Vincent for several days, but I think I have new... Now pinpointed his location, leaving the base will be impossible unless the lockdown is lifted, so as per usual protocol, I have hidden the black box and Comedy Central mainframe override card in two separate locations and will, be and will beacon Comedy Central as soon as the coast is clear. Honey Pomelo under emergency lockdown. Hacking successful! Hacking successful! Hacking successful! Alright. Holy shit, that was a lot of reading. Meet Agnesa. Now I'm getting the hang of it, Agnesa, and ask her about the black hole and the override card so you can return to Earth. Wait, so she's alive? She's alive? Shut up! Oh my god, no wonder everyone went crazy in this place. Shit kept playing 24-7. Oh, little duckies! Oh, 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 we are taking this. Oh, oh, little duckies. <laughs> Little Dougie, mm, little Dougie, yeah, I'm a little tiny Dougie. Janet, I got two of them. We can share them. Oh, I'll give one to AJ when we get back. I'm a little ducky, short and stout. Here is my duck face, here is my stout. I just burped hot dogs, that's alright. Toilet paper everywhere, wash your bum. Wait a minute, let me... Alright. Two bathrooms for the price of fun. Alright. Oh my god, I really don't want to read this terminal. Uh... At least we get to go outside again. Let's read the last ones. Dead seeds, blah blah blah. Fuzzy thoughts. I have a massive headache today. I got some that from the boss, and she told me to take it easy. I tried helping Jimothy, but there isn't much I can do at the garage, so I came back. My head feels like it's full of cotton. It takes me ages to focus on whatever it is I want to do. It's like I'm forgetting things. What did I have for dinner last night? Am I even writing? So confused. I need that. Maybe it's all the damn Zolotol fumes. Candle light. We got some candles in our last supply shipment. For some strange reason, the boss said they were probably meant for sleepyhead. 
tried to return them, but she was told to keep them. Maybe in case we have a power outage? Hmm? What? Yeah, because we're totally not going to suffocate to death if that happens. Anyway, candles always make me think of my old aunt and her witchy shenanigans. I remember that time she was desperate to get her husband's love back, so she got a red candle, put in a plate filled with honey and suck, and snuck her husband's name and scribbled note underneath. And she went to work, and when she came back, she found out that one of my cousins had eaten all the honey. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, I'm going to kill this... Oh my god, I cannot stand this... Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Oh, where is my map marker? Crap, I can't use my... Where did she say she was going? Damn it. Uh, I can't check my pit boy. <laughs> I had a quest marker. Is it was it in there? Was there something in there? Damn it. I'm gonna do this. Improve a trine. Alright. <laughs> Meet Agnes. I had a... I had... I had a quest marker. Where did it go? Judith. Danica, Giovanni. Oh my god, I'm gonna murder this place. Ooh, look at that. Even the days will be on pop will be unless the lockdown is lifted. ID is still on site. High level security card. All right, there we go. Pencil. Alright, that's what we needed. Using our brains, using our brains, we're using our brains. Using your brain, using your mind, we're solving a mystery. Solving a mystery! Take off your helmet, solve a mystery. Put on your moon suit. It's a thousand times more stylish, just kidding. Can of chocolate milk, can of chocolate milk. Put that chocolate milk straight in your mouth. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm going to murder. Oh my god, can we please shut this fucking... Oh my god, I need to turn this... I'm gonna take my headphones out. I cannot stand this this constant... I don't know if I'm muting it in the video. I'm. Pr it's probably gonna be a lot more muted in the video. Or maybe it shouldn't be. Maybe I will leave it in so you... you... Oh my god, I'm gonna go fucking crazy. I'm gonna take my headphones off. I cannot stand this fucking constant... Oh my god, shut up. Holy shit. Oh god. No wonder he poisoned everyone with cake. 
Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, Jerry. Scare the shit out of me. I'm not using this office anymore. If you want to talk to me, come see me at the clinic. Thanks, Dr. Coca-Cola. Open with Agnesa. I'm a door. Teleport experiment. You can teleport this cactus to over here. Oh, God. Well, I guess it worked. Cautionary note. Don't do it more than two times. Please do not overuse the Kleiner Vance teleport exp experiment. Heh, <laughs> Kleiner. Kleiner Vance. If overloaded, it can cause system crashing. Ask crew member if you have any questions or would like to know more about assassinating. I kind of want to do it a whole bunch now. Oh my god, I'm shut up! I'm taking my headphones off. I'm not listening to that announcement again. Look at these filing cabinets. Yeah, I put my chicken in the uh, can of Nuka Cola satellite. Oh, I guess that's something. Oh, wait, what? Hello there. Do you have any corn you could spare? Oh, I need some corn. Oh, thank God you're... Is that a... Is that a dead dog? No, it's a live dog. Oh, there's a dog with a key on a dog. Oh. Nope. Didn't want that. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Central mainframe override. Yay. Oh, God. This conversation is about organization. Don't forget about broadcastization stuff. Things. Dud. Dud. I've been countering a number of partnerships that are interested in recuperating my pet squirrel. Have information regarding this, please contact me and my uncle. He's a small bear who plays the trombone and always screams hallelujah at baseball games. My phone number is 317-797-267-7529-3476-4269-773. This is all about appreciation. Oh my god. God, there's something coming through your window. Jesus Christ, get out of here. All right, while you guys were leaving, I opened the PDA. Restless. That's what my babies are. They're so restless. Mm -mm. That's what my babies are. So restless and anxious, I have developed a bad habit of rubbering my teeth together against the back of my teeth. To the point where I bleed, and the only way to stop it is to clamp my tramp over my tongue and hold it there. Am I losing my beans? My knees hurt from sitting around on the hot dogs, so I work standing up, wandering around the office, listening to music. Have a snack pack. Makes me feel less useless. More like I have a porpoise, you know? I wish I had someone to scream at. I have so many penguins, so many ideas, so many exciting things I've made. I know better to share them with. There's Max, of course, the small rat that lives under my socks, but, eh. I need some new acquaintances, friends who share my interests, so we can discuss shoelaces. I feel sad. I want to scream. Nothing gives me bananas. Locked in this place as I am, I had to go round up a whole bunch of basketballs and give them to Hadley so I wouldn't play basketball. God, my tongue hurts, but I just can't stop licking. It's so sad not to have anybody to chat up. I haven't had so much sleep lately, I just want to wake up a girl who's been unconscious for 15 years. But I get so panicky about becoming a Star Wars trilogy. Who likes that kind of sticky friend. I remember myself in my youngest years being annoyed at becoming a big fat piece of yogurt. Girls who just hang on to me for 
follow me around, ramble about their meaningless problems, their periods. Disgusting. I never cared. Now I understand how they felt. I wish I could go back and change time. No wonder later on all of them started turning their backs on me and running towards the edge of cliffs. In the end, Mad Max was all I had as anybody else would scream. He was the only one who stuck with me during the hoops, boops, riots since we were just babies. He was always there when nobody else would even look my way. Kind of a sad way to form spaghetti, especially considering I'm so broken that even a Nickelback song can't fix me. Nobody will ever be able to fix my achy breaky heart. He broke me. It will never get better. I haven't been able to come to terms with this glue puzzle, and I don't think I ever will. We're reading the rest of Lee's like that. If you have a problem with that, pause the video and read them. And then skip the audio, because I'm going to go insane. <laughs> so lonely, yet another sad morning. I went to sleep last night, so I got up early. Didn't fancy laying around on the bed, because the cow's been chomping all night. I always feel terribly sad, and I poop in the morning. And I look at my poop, I say, that's a sad poop. I wake up feeling like I want to die. Wondering if it's even worth it. Planning maybe that will be the day I end it all, and get rid of this strange shark sludge in my ass. I don't even have the excuse of PMS. What with my organs missing and all. Ugh. What? This is a lady, by the way. But no. Instead, I buy myself some coffee and a can of Chef Boy ID and I grab a croissant and a whole box of onion rings. Judas has told me to get coffee from a replicator, but do you know? I like the bass when everybody else is sleeping, cozy, nice, and quiet with the sauce bubbling of the sweet spaghetti. I sit at the table and drink my coffee, eat the croissant in three bites, and I scream, hey. Then I pack myself some stuff, come here, and I spend the day making little shapes of penguins. Giovanni caught me this morning touching my dick. I'm a lady. He seemed surprised to see me, but he was polite and wished me a good day. I think he's thankful for the trip to Comedy Central we took together. We got to meet Dana Carvey. It's really helped him, and that's all that matters. Scooby-Doo stopped before I came back from lunch to ask me if I had any Scooby snacks. I'm not sure what it could be. Another bathroom? Maybe another kitchen? I don't know. I hope the cows stop chewing. Visitors. We had some visitors lately. Besides the delivery crew, Milo and Otis sent a couple of little pug movies to check on us, and we're planning on doing another meeting one of these days. The guys here enjoy the visit, so I'm okay with it. Nothing wrong with two Twizzlers touching Twizzlers. This past week's been awful, though. Nightmares about bees and onion rings every single night. I had a nap on the couch here just now, and it happened again. I may have to take some pills if this continues, because my head's all fuzzy, and that's not good at all. Fuzzy dreams are bad. Perhaps I just need a vacation. Milo and Oldest told me that I was going to have a week-long break where it cuts his penises. Maybe I could do that, too. Go to a beach somewhere. It feels like I forgot what it feels like to put sand in my ass. My trickle peconias has gotten so bad that I feel literally sick. I shave half my vagina to see if it helps. It came as quite a shock to the crew, but it does feel better, so I may shave it all off if needed. Showers take a lot less time now, if anything, and it does look rather stylish. Still, I'm annoyed at myself. I had stopped. I hadn't done it in years. Then it only took one pluck for it to be back in full force. I'm a helicopter. I don't. I know that this will do to me. I've read papers. I've seen pictures. I know what it'll be like to try to explain what happened to the surge in charge of helicopters. None of it is pretty. But that sound, the snap, the urge to taste it, and before I know it, it's gone. It's sickening. I'd rather be addicted to jail. The good old days. What did she, what did she cut off? This is another one. We haven't even gotten to this one. Visitors? Her that. I shaved half my hair to see if it... Alright, I guess it's scratching. Scratching of the hair. I've been thinking about... Alright, well, let's do this one quick. I've been thinking about my childhood lately, digging up through my memories, trying to figure out the earliest. It's all really confusing, but I clearly recall being about three or four, maybe I was at Max's place, and he turned on his radio because he wanted to teach me about slow dance. I can't remember the song, but I do remember it was Shakira. He was wearing a top hat he borrowed from the overseer's closet, and had a magazine with illustrations we tried to imitate. Once we got them right, we danced for hours until Shakira burst into the room and screamed at us. He then walked me to my place, but as always, he was not allowed to enter. That's definitely the earliest memory, surprisingly clear considering all that's happened. All right, so they were all Vault dwellers, obviously they all pit boys. Ugh. I'm guessing 
Maybe the vault, maybe this is a, it's got to be a vault tech thing because they were saying, well, we'll figure it out. The next memory is that night on my 10th birthday. I've never written about it, never talked about it to anybody, not even Max, especially not Max. Feels strange to put it on paper. How can I write it without sounding whiny, fake, or ridiculous? I don't know, but maybe writing it down would make it easier for me to see the whole picture. I can see myself in my bedroom lying on the bed. I was probably reading a book. Oh, God. This is not going to be good. Then my father can't, please just beat her. <laughs> he did not have his jumpsuit on. Yup. He said he loved me and that today I would be special. So he told me to, I, we, I can't even write it down. I'm really empathetic. But after that, it happened often. Eventually, he took me to those parties with his buddies where they'd pass me around. Wonderful. I can understand how nobody ever noticed. My mother was too busy with her own dramas to realize, I guess. Same with my older sister. Looking back on it, I'm surprised I managed to keep it from Max. Maybe it goes to show how disconnected from reality he has always been. Back, since, back then, sometimes he'd come pick me up for a date at the, the dinner just hours after... I had been spending quality time with my father and two of his friends, and later on, he did not seem to notice the slight shivers when he touched me. How could he not see? Well, how did any, anybody not see at all? Maybe it's not Max's fault. Maybe I'm just a really good liar. I wish you thought thinking about this.